Hi everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Thank you for being with us for the last two episodes of our Dolomai trip. Today we bring to you the third and the concluding episode. At the end of the second episode, we had just finished the sunrise shoot at Alpe di Sivisi region. After finishing the sunrise shoot, we took a hike back of approximately one hour to our car parking and then drove back to Urtese where we were based. At Urtese we reached around in the morning time, had a quick breakfast and then prepared for our trip to the ultimate destination Alpe di Saceda. Sacheda, or as it is more commonly known as Sacheda, was the final destination of our trip. Sacheda is very easily accessible from Ortezei. We had to take a cable car up to the mountains to reach the nearest base in Sacheda. We had planned to make an overnight camping at Sacheda and therefore we had to grab quickly our stuff, camping gears, tents, sleeping bags etc. from the hotel before moving ahead to the cable car. By the way, one point about the cable car is that it does not run throughout the year. It is running in the summer months from May to October and then in winter in December to April, which is mainly the skiing season. However, even if the cable car is not operational, one can hike up the mountains as well. Once we reach the top, a beautiful scenery awaited for us. It was a beautiful bright afternoon and the scenery was absolutely gorgeous. We were expecting the jagged Dolomite peaks as we have seen in so many pictures, but what surprised us was the lush green grass with beautiful yellow flowers full of them in the foreground. I think we were pretty much blown away by the flowers and I think I started shooting uh, the flowers immediately. It was breathtaking. I think I will show you some pictures of these beautiful flowers as we speak along. For shooting these flowers, especially you have to be there in the summer months and make sure along with your 2470 lens, which is absolutely must for these kind of uh, places, you bring your wide angle lenses. This will give you an opportunity to shoot the flowers from a very close range as you can see in some of the pictures that I have done. In our one day in Sacheda, I think we experienced all the weather that is possible. It started off with a bright sunny afternoon but as the evening progressed, it became very cloudy. In fact, at some point of time, storm clouds gathered and it started raining heavily. Lucky for us, we had brought our camping gear and we were able to pitch the tent well in time. However, it was really difficult to pitch the tent, I must say. It was so windy, the tent was nearly flying away. Uh, I must say that when you are camping out in this kind of wilderness, uh, you should be well prepared and never underestimate the weather. Lucky for us, we had brought a couple of extra jackets with us and therefore the extreme windy and cold condition that we did not expect uh, did not really harm us or affect us. The evening had really unpredictable weather, but good for us, we were prepared for that challenge and we overcame that. However, we were heading into a night that was one of the best and one of the worst in my life. We will come to that fascinating night a little later, but before that, I want to show you something about the sunrise the next morning, because it was one of the most colorful sunrises I have ever seen in my life. We woke up and waited for the sun to rise from behind the peak of Sacheda, and we were able to see the most amazing sunrise. There were enough clouds to create lovely colorful atmosphere and it was not too much so as to spoil the, the scene. I was able to capture a very nice sun star as well. However, one point to note is that make sure you do not get lost in this beautiful scenario just to keep on capturing one single uh, composition. Make sure you use your telephoto lens to capture some of the details that is in the landscape and I think uh, you will be surprised with, uh, with the beautiful 
things you can find in those details. After shooting the sunrise, we walked down from our camping site towards the, uh, the base where the cable cars are stopping. There is a nice little restaurant there which serves you with uh, some fresh coffee and cakes and we had some biscuits etc left over from the previous night so we made a nice little uh, breakfast out of it and after all this was done we went down to Akhtasai for our trip back. We went into the night expecting stars and Milky Way but something that we did not anticipate was wind. It was slightly windy in the evening and uh, in, the, in the early part of the night but as the night uh, progressed, it became so windy that it was even difficult for two people to keep a tent in its place. We were sitting inside the tent wearing two jackets uh, with one sleeping bag around us and we also had the mattress that was somehow working as, as a wrapper for us. But it was crazy windy, it was really cold. I think the only thing that made me go through the night and still remember it fondly is because I had my camera with me and I was able to shoot through the night for Milky Ways and Star Trails. Of course the tip for Milky Way is that you have to bring your wide angle lenses and uh, I had a 14mm lens with f2.8 aperture and I think that worked pretty well for me. The good thing is that the Milky Way in, in July it was rising directly behind Sacheda which was a, again it was a bit of a luck. I did not uh, check the astro information before that but still it worked out well for me. Anyway it was a crazy crazy night I think uh, I, I cannot forget that night. We made some lovely pictures and also suffered through the nights but I think in the end those pictures were worth the suffering. So. With that, we come to an end of this absolutely fantastic trip to the Dolomites. I hope you have enjoyed it and helped us relive the memories that we experienced. Uh, keep watching our channel for more videos to come. Thank you. that you have enjoyed the series on the Dolomites. What do you expect next? Just write down in the comments. And also while you do that, please let us know what you liked and did not like about our videos till now. We are a new channel, we want to keep on improving. And uh, I hate to do this, but I think I would request you to subscribe, like and share our videos so that many more people can find us. Thank you.